So tomorrow is one year since the Obama administration implemented this moratorium policy, the first of three crushing moratoriums, two formal moratoriums, the ongoing de facto moratorium. The Energy Information Administration, and that's a nonpartisan division of the Department of Energy, is now estimating that the fall off in domestic production this year alone will be about 200,000 barrels per day. It's a lot of oil, 200,000 barrels per day. And an additional 200,000 barrels per day in 2012. To put this fall off in production, that's expected from the Obama administration's policy in perspective. As a result of the permitting log jam, by 2012, we would lose as much production in the Gulf of Mexico as we currently import from Brazil and Colombia combined. These are the two countries, by the way, where we've supported with taxpayer-funded guarantees projects related to their energy production. So this fall off in production in the Gulf by 2012 is roughly equivalent also to what we imported in January from Iraq. Now, there are several things I'd like to highlight for tomorrow's anniversary of the initiation of this moratorium policy. First, the price of gasoline at the pump is now $3.98 a gallon. It's more than doubled since President Obama took office. And there's perhaps not a greater anti-stimulus for our economy than that doubling of the price at the pump. Today, I'll be introducing an important piece of legislation. It's called the Agency Overreach Moratorium Act. We need a moratorium. We need a moratorium on regulatory overreach, agency overreach, as we see in Interior Department, in EPA, in many other agencies. So this legislation is intended to prevent federal action that you would, would unilaterally destroy jobs on federal lands on the OCS. That is happening every day at the Interior Department. Instead of issuing permits to find American energy, they're issuing regulations, the most recent on a whole new category of contractors, completely unnecessary because they were already regulating the drillers, and that is regulatory overreach, and that is job-killing action. My Agency Overreach Moratorium Act will lay out the real moratorium we need on job-killing action out of Washington, out of this administration, not on domestic energy production.